Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be 10 things you should know before you adopt a button. Okay, so my first thing that you should know before you adopt a rabbit is that they are very destructive. Lemon has chewed three phone chargers and destroyed four of my houseplants since I got her less than two months ago. So it's really, really important that you do a good job bunny proofing unless you want your stuff to be destroyed. You will have to sacrifice some like aesthetically pleasing aspects of your house or your room or wherever you're keeping your bunny um, so that they're safe and so that your things are safe. But that's just important to take into notice. They will dig at your carpet. Um, but yeah, they can be very, very destructive. So it's important to note that you have to bunny proof really, really well. Okay, number two is that they need really, really large enclosures, if not free roamed. Basically, all of the cages, all of the cages sold in pet stores are not suitable for rabbits. Rabbits should not live in cages. At the minimum, they have to at least live in a four by six foot pen. Um, X pens for dogs work really great, but I do really strongly recommend free roaming as then they have your entire room to run around and they're not confined to just one space. But yeah, a lot of people don't know this and they end up impulse buying these animals and then they have these tiny, tiny cages and their rabbits are just bored. They can barely move around. They can't binky or do zoomies or anything like that. Okay, number three is that rabbits do need vet care. Rabbits will have to see a vet at least once a year for checkups, if not more, if they do end up like developing some kind of sickness. Um, they can get sore hocks, they can get respiratory infections, they can get acid burn on their feet, they can get mites or fleas. There are lots of different illnesses that your rabbits can get, so it's really important that before you get your rabbit, you find a rabbit savvy vet in your area so that you can take your rabbit there for their checkups and in case of emergencies. And rabbit vet bills can be really, really pricey. Thankfully, I have found a vet that does rabbit stuff for fairly cheap compared to other vets, but that's not the case for everybody, so rabbit stuff can be really, really expensive when it comes to like getting them spayed or neutered, even checkups. I know most, I think, probably average for like just a checkup is about a hundred dollars and to get them spayed or neutered it's probably around 500. Number four is that they are very social creatures. I know not everybody can have more than one rabbit like me. Either you can't afford it, your rabbit doesn't get along with other rabbits. Um, I got Milky. I was not planning on getting a bunny and so um, my friend was rehoming her and they asked me if I wanted her so I got her. Um, I wasn't planning on getting a rabbit. If I was, I probably would have gotten two, but I'm just not currently suited to take care of two rabbits. I can't afford it, and I just don't have the time and stuff to put into owning two rabbits at the moment, so one is all that I can handle, but hopefully once I am maybe have a job or something and I'm an adult, I can pay for two bunnies because that is the ideal situation is that you can have a friend for your rabbit. Okay. Our next one is that rabbits have very, very long lifespans. They can live anywhere from 8 to 12 years. 12 is fairly old, um, but they can live that long. So they are a very, very long commitment. So you will have to think about where you're going to be in the next 5 years, 10 years, 12 years. And if you're still going to be able to take care of your bunny. Because you can't just get a bunny because you want a bunny right now. And then maybe in 2 years and you move out of your house, you're not still able to care for them. So if you want a bunny, you have to think about them in your future. Okay, my next thing that you should know before adopting a bunny is that they are very, very expensive animals. You will have to buy everything for them. You'll have to buy hay, veggies, litter, food, um, toys, all that stuff. So they are very, very expensive animals. Obviously, you can have a rabbit on a budget, but just know that it will still be expensive to have a rabbit. I pay for all of my animals myself and it gets very, very expensive. And I have a fairly large allowance for my age um, and it's still really expensive. I spend all of my money all on them. Um, so owning animals in general can be very expensive. Milky is definitely my most expensive animal though. 
Okay, so number seven is that rabbits are not always super cuddly. I know in the media and in TV shows and stuff, they're always portrayed as like super cuddly, affectionate animals. And yes, some buddies are like that, but the majority of bunnies aren't always going to want to like snuggle with you and like lick you and like sleep with you and stuff. They're mostly just going to want to do their own thing for the most part, but they obviously will want to cuddle with you sometimes, just not maybe as much as the media portrays them. Even a lot of bunnies on YouTube are like very affectionate bunnies, like um, when you're comparing them to other bunnies. Milky loves to cuddle probably about like three or four times today. But she doesn't usually like come up to me and beg for me to cuddle her. She will like ask for attention and treats and stuff. But for the most part, they aren't super ridiculously cuddly animals. And they don't love to be held because obviously they are prey animals. So they're not going to love to be held all the time. Okay, number eight is one that might seem weird to people who don't own bunnies, but is like super relatable for everybody who does. And that is that they will completely take over and control your life. Um... I loved bunnies even before I got a bunny, but now that I have one, I spend all my time just looking at her and taking pictures of her. Basically, my entire camera roll is just pictures of her. I get all my exercise from taking her for walks in her stroller. I spend all my monies on new toys and stuff like that for her. They will just completely take over your life. Whenever you meet new people, it'll always be, do you want to see a picture of my bunny? Um, this isn't really a con at all, but I just thought I'd mention that, that they will completely control your life and you will become obsessed with them. Okay, my last thing that people should know before they adopt bunnies is that rabbits just make amazing pets. Obviously, they're not the right pet for everybody, but for the people who they are right pets for, they are just such amazingly cute and adorable animals that are so playful and it's so fun to watch them just do their thing. It's so worth buying all the hay and veggies and all the stuff for them just to be able to like hang out with them and be in their presence. They're just such amazingly cool animals and they make such amazing pets. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end and I will see you in the next video. Bye!